So we know so much information has been data mined and everyone's really focused on the big things. You know, like new runes, new big epic items from Gnomeragon or the STV PvP event. There's been some really cool little things that have been data mined that I think might get you quite excited. Maybe not quite as excited as your brand new shiny abilities, but it looks like there's going to be some really cool additions in Phase 2 that I just want to share with you. Now, if you're really against spoilers and you just don't want to know anything that's coming in Phase 2 then maybe don't watch. But I don't consider any of these really big spoilers. They're just some items that have been found, and some of them we don't even know what they do yet, but it's fun to speculate. So for those classes that can use relics, new relics have been found. Paladin looks like it's getting a Librum that reduces the cost of seals by 10. Shamans are going to be able to reduce the mana cost of their Flame Shock by 10. Druids are getting 2% damage from Wrath. The annoying thing is, I've not seen one for Feral, but they're the ones that I've seen, and actually now having that relic slot, having something useful in it, going to be pretty cool now this imbue blade has got me really really intrigued so if you don't know already it looks like the majority of the items from scarlet monastery razor fund downs all of these places that start to drop level 40 relevant gear if they were aimed towards spell casters they've had a bit of an upgrade they've got extra spell damage on them now or even their primary stats are just a lot more in line with what they should be given now the last boss in the library drops a dagger and it's called the hypnotic blade and it's always been pretty good it's a nice early spell power weapon it looks like it could get even better because an item's been found called imbue blade and it says use on the hypnotic blade to create a powerful weapon so now this is mage specific apparently so i don't know how you're actually going to get this imbue item it could be part of a quest chain that maybe gives you a rune and at the end of it you're going to get this who knows again just speculating while we're talking about mages there's been some really cool scrolls found as well so if you pick up those little random scrolls and you're not a mage and you just vendor them or put them on your auction house or whatever you do mages are going to be able to solve these to get some access to scrolls that look a lot more interesting than the phase one scrolls so there's one called scroll of liminal passage where it teleports to a party member both you and the target must be resting at an inn or city so how cool is that if someone wants help with something let's say i don't know they're over in wetlands and they want help with a rune or you know somewhere quite far away somewhere you don't really want to go and you've got this and you can say yeah i'll come and help you just run to the inn they run to the inn you teleport straight to them i think that's a fantastic mage only scroll and I'm actually looking forward to using them. There's also Scroll of Arcane Angling. Now, this might have something to do with a quest and not be anything to do with scrolls at all, but it is mage specific and there is actually no text attached to it. If this actually had something to do with fishing, because angling, fishing, obviously it would make sense. It would be amazing if you use this scroll instead of having to use lures, for example. So it was an arcane infused lure so you use a scroll and for 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes preferably longer than a lure would be so let's say 20 minutes it puts like an arcane lure on the fishing pole so you carry these scrolls instead of lures that's just an idea it could be something completely different but still interesting now this is huge now mages i've complained about it all through phase one and whilst it looks like it's going to be better in phase two mana has been an issue and as I say, phase two, it should be less of an issue as we get access to mana gems, mage armor, and among just stronger consumables, better items and bigger mana pools, but scroll of minor evocation. So it's on an eight minute cooldown and it restores mana. So you would assume that this is like a mini evocation. Maybe it's 200% mana regen or it gives half as much as a normal evocation, but it won't share a cooldown. Another way that mages can keep their mana up during fights. I mean, these are just going to be a must-have consumable for every mage. Whereas in phase one, getting like the 1% crit scrolls or 1% hit scrolls, they were like fairly optional. No one cares whether you got them on or not. Like these, you're going to want at all times. But because these are like the common scrolls, they should be able to be sold and bought on the auction house as well. They've also added scrolls of comprehension. So for you non-mages, you need comprehension charms, which cost seven silver each to decipher the scrolls. Well, now when you decipher a scroll, you've got a chance at getting a scroll where you can then get more charms, essentially. But you'll get two. But if you're resting in a city or in an inn, you'll get four. So every one of these scrolls essentially would be worth 28 silver, which is not bad. There's also scroll of controlled displacement, which I've got no idea what this is, but it sounds like being able to move in some way. Scroll of polymorph odd melon is there as well, which you would just imagine is those melons in Tyrus Full Glades where you would polymorph them to unlock one of the runes. I can't even remember what rune it is off the top of my head now. But I would guess you'd just put this on your bar and it will polymorph them. Instead of polymorphing them into a shape, 
little polymorphum into a melon. And there's a lot of items from crafting that's got some love as well. Too many to go through them all, but I just wanted to give you some examples. The Greater Mystic Wands have been redesigned, so these have actually got damage and healing on now. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. So they really are trying to give casters more spell damage anywhere they can, just to make them close that gap a little bit between the physical damage dealers and the casters. And the same goes for items like the Mage Weave set, for example, now increasing damage and healing done by nine. The Intellect's not on it anymore, but you've still got the Spirit. But there's a lot of items from tailoring, more from tailoring than anywhere else, that have had massive reworks. Although, I say that, Blacksmithing's had quite a lot of changes as well for Paladin gear with damage and healing on. So have a look through the database on Wowhead and you'll see all of the items that have been changed. But there's a lot of them. And it all seems to stem around spellcasters. It looks like they've also added a recipe for lesser arcane elixir. Again, just another way to increase caster spell damage. Obviously, arcane elixir wouldn't come until phase three. But in phase two, you're going to have another consumable. And it's another way that alchemists can make money. Where the recipe comes from, I don't know. I would guess probably just bought from a vendor with like no limited supply. Everyone can just go and buy it. But yeah, lesser arcane elixirs are going to be there as well with the looks of it. What I also like for druids is they're adding feral attack power to a lot of weapons now. Like Iron Shod Bludgeon, for example, you can see it's now got 36 attack power for cats, bears, and dire bear forms. So I do think we're going to see lots more items with feral attack power options on, which is obviously good. And I did forget one mage scroll, actually. I mean, this was pretty much just a mage scroll video, but there's a lot of them. Scroll of Cryoblast. So use inflicts 183 to 247 frost damage in a five yard radius. Now, this is on a one minute cooldown, but having scrolls that you can do damage with on a one minute cooldown, I don't know if they're going to share a cooldown with anything else like potions or grenades or anything like that. It'd be great if they shared a cooldown with grenades. So mages don't particularly need engineering. You just use scrolls instead. I mean, that would be pretty cool. But again, we'll have to find out. Some of these might not even make it into the game. But out of all of the items that I've looked through, these are the ones that really stuck out for me as like quite strange ones that I wanted to talk to you about. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you're excited for out of these items, especially if you're a mage. I mean, the scroll to be able to teleport to somebody in your party, I think that's amazing. And I'm looking forward to abusing the life out of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.